Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a pretty special video and one that I'm still uncomfortable with making, but that's how we all get better, and that's by doing it. And that is a full techwear lookbook. Techwear inspired, I should say, because I don't really know how to dress. This entire aesthetic is pretty new to me anyways, but yeah, let's hop right into this lookbook. If you guys didn't know, I've been experimenting and trying out new things, and technical wear being one of them. I've been reading all types of articles, watching a ton of videos, and going through the techwear clothing subreddit, just to understand it more so I could eventually make a video on it without looking like a lot of guys who just buy a tactical vest and call it tech wear. And honestly, this is what you guys should be doing when you have an interest in a certain aesthetic. Learn more about it. That is the best way to refine and mature your style without looking ignorant. So if you guys really want to learn more about this aesthetic, I definitely suggest checking out guys like Corbin and this is Antoine. I've learned so much from these guys and honestly, they need more subs. Go to their channel, subscribe. But yeah, first outfit, let's start off with the jacket. So this jacket comes from 511 Tactical and it is the approach jacket. I found out about this jacket because of Corbin, so big shout out to him. If you guys didn't know, 511 Tactical is a brand that focuses on creating functional items, typically for guys that are into tactical and military inspired garments, accessories, workwear, etc. What I love about this jacket is just its entire design. Starting off, this jacket is a hard shell and is waterproof, providing a lot of functionality for the rainy days. It don't rain much here in New Mexico, but since I'll be moving back to New York City, I'll find a lot of use out of it. It's also got this high collar design which houses the packable hoodie, which also just gives this really unique look that a lot of jackets don't typically have. Now about the sling bag. Ooh, fanny packs are whack. Fanny packs aren't in blah, 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 blah. Hey, don't cry on me whenever you get your phone stolen, your stuff stolen, you f So the sling bag comes from my go-to place for shoulder bags, sling bags, whatever you guys want to call it, and that is Orbit Gear. Orbit Gear is a pretty small brand based in Indonesia. They're always out of stock, it's crazy, so whenever you guys can snag an item, I definitely would. But I'll tell you guys right now, and I hate using this term because it's so overused right now, but these bags are made very well and have amazing quality. But unlike a lot of people online, I will tell you why they're made so well. The strap that you throw around your body is actually made really, really well. It's not some lightweight strap with a thin plastic buckle. The strap kind of feels like a seatbelt. And get this, it's also water resistant as well. And sling bags in general just offer a ton of functionality. I can keep all my stuff in there without having to worry about it getting stolen. You can't steal the bag from me because there is a main strap, but also it has an access strap for extra security. And man, it just gives the outfit a nice look as well. Plus it gives it a pop of color from the olive and white strap on the main sling. The pants come from our sponsor today, Uniden. They aren't paying me to say any of this, but they did send over a lot of items for me to try out just to be transparent because they also sent me a discount code for you guys. It would just feel wrong if I didn't let you guys know. But these pants are by far my favorite pants in my wardrobe. These are called the Steven Cargos from Brain Delusion, which Uniden is this company's US distributor. So these cargos offer a ton of functionality as well. An important aspect to the techwear aesthetic, they are water resistant with plenty of pockets and cargo space to store whatever you guys wanna store in your pockets. It's also got an adjustable taper, which yes, is acceptable on cargos, definitely not on denim. Sorry if you wear some zippered denim, you should probably throw that out. It also comes with these straps that you can throw on the side of the pants, or I guess if you need a, a tourniquet if you're injured. <laughs> nah, but these add a really nice look to the fit, but I personally like to just store it in the pockets. Then for the kicks, I'm rocking the 2018 Akron Impresto's, one of my favorite silhouettes to this day. This is definitely the gateway drug to their brand and is of course probably the most iconic quote unquote tech wear sneaker. But yeah, before we get into the next fit, I do want to talk to you guys more about Uniden. These guys were way too kind and sent your boy a care package for free and I'm free to say whatever I want still. So whenever you guys go to Uniden, think of it as a hub for a lot of tactical brands. If you're just getting into this aesthetic, I highly recommend starting your journey here or if you're just interested in checking out the pieces. A lot of brands on their site make more affordable technical pieces because my goodness, techwear can get hella pricey, but not to worry. If you guys use my discount code FLY, you're gonna get 10% off your order. The items on their site are priced really well for the amount of functionality that you get. So click the link in the description, check them out, follow them on Instagram, and thank you in advance if any of you guys make a purchase with my code. Y'all are awesome. Now, for fit number two, it's not exactly techwear. I don't know, but this outfit definitely focuses on the aesthetics of techwear and not so much on the functionality. But the top is from Randy Illusion as well, which you can pick up on Uniden. It's a turtleneck style shirt, but not your traditional type. It's got a higher neckline so you can place it over your mouth because you know, air quality is really bad out here in New Mexico. It's really not. Plus it just looks pretty cool. It kind of has the look of a traditional turtleneck, but has like different panels of material and thumb holes for a little bit of warmth. Then I have a messenger bag from Orbit Gear as well, which is also on Uniden. Think of it as a hip sling bag from the first fit, 
only a messenger bag. It's bigger, has more storage, and is also water resistant with the same strap as the first sling bag. The pants come from Black Taylor. You guys know I've worked with them plenty of times as well. The reason why I say the fit isn't really functional is because the top isn't wind or waterproof and neither are the pants. It just has the aesthetics, not the functionality, which is fine, but can be up for debate. Then I threw on my only pair of Air Force Ones because I'm broke and can't afford the acronym ones. So yeah, not so tech wear, but whatever, I like the fit. And the last fit is kind of your traditional tech wear fit, pretty much all black. Let's start off with the jacket. This also comes from Rain Delusion, which you can pick up on Uniden. I like this jacket because it could actually be worn three ways. So first is this look, a ton of pockets and zippers. It's pretty nice, but you can totally switch up the look by removing the outer layer and revealing a traditional parka type look, which is traditionally how I rock it. And third is with the built-in sling on the inside of the shell that you can throw on your back whenever it gets too hot. That's probably what I'm gonna typically do for those hotter days in spring. Obviously, it's January and I'm not doing this right now. It's also got a double zipper as well, which is actually really nice, especially when you squat. It won't bunch up around the belly and will just flow with your body. Definitely all jackets should have this. Oh yeah jacket is waterproof as well. The pants come from 511 Tactical again. This is also water resistant and it's typically a really relaxed fit. So I had to pin roll it for a more tapered look, but I'm probably gonna take this to the tailor here pretty soon. And then I threw on the Nike Element 87s to complete the look. All right, fellas, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it inspires you guys to start incorporating more tactical gear to your fits. Make sure you guys click the link below and check out Uniden for more awesome technical pieces. I will be making a how-to tech wear video soon whenever I'm more confident and more involved with the community. But for now, I do encourage you guys to go check out other YouTubers and the official subreddit. But yeah, guys, follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already, at FlyWithJohnnyTai. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel out. And yeah, let me know what your favorite fit was in the comments below. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out, bro. Peace!